Hey, this is Uncle Mark in the Mothership with a three-string cigar box guitar. And uh, I'm playing into my uh, Vintage 47 amp. And I've got a, quite a bit of distortion on this. This is a Bob Seger tune. And um, I really, really like this song. Um, you know, it brings back a lot of memories to me. Um, it's called uh, Running Against the Wind. Um, it's originally written by Paul Anka, by the way, so uh, don't diss Paul Anka too soon. He wrote some good songs. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to play this thing, and then uh, we'll break it all down. If you don't like the fact that I play this with distortion, you can certainly, you don't have to play it like that. You know what I mean? You can... Uh, You can play it just like so. I just happen to uh, I just happen to like the distortion. That's me. So you decide. It's it's up to you. It's your call. So uh, it's in G. Seems like yesterday. It was long ago Janie was lovely, she was the queen of my nights There in the darkness with the radio playing low The secrets that we shared The mountains that we moved Caught like a wildfire out of control Till there was nothing left to burn And nothing left to prove I remember what she said to me You swore that it would never end I remember how she held me oh so tight I wish I didn't know now what I didn't know then Against the wind We were running against the wind So, um, easy song. Let's go over some of the basics here. So this is an open G tuning. G, D, G. So in an open G tuning, the first fret, that zero fret, is G, G sharp, A. And that's an important chord in this song. B flat, B, another important chord. C, C sharp, and D. Okay, these are the important chords in this song. So um, it starts out in G. And if you notice, I also do this G inversion here, where I put my first finger here on the uh, D string at the fifth fret, that's a G. And then of course I put my third finger on the D and my pinky on the D. Um, and when I play slide, um, I do it a little different. When I play my slide, I play it this way. And that takes a bit getting used to, to be able to move this shape around in this way. At least it is with me um, when I play live. So, you know, it's something to practice if you uh, need that to play slide here. If not, and you put it there, you can put your second finger here and your pinky there. So, that's one way to work that inversion. And the reason I like the inversion is I can keep my hand up here. When I'm playing live, I'm looking straight down at it. I kind of hang my guitar kind of low. And I'm looking down, I can get C and D and G this way. I can get E, D, and G without going open and then trying to figure out where I'm at. So that's just the way I play it. So you do exactly what you'd like to do. So it's G. Seems like yesterday. It was on go. C. So it's G, B, C. And I come up to it. like yesterday It was long ago See, Janie was lovely Gee, the queen of my nights There in the darkness With the D radio playing low And you see how my hand progresses From the bottom to the 
to here. So it's seems like yesterday, and I'm in this position. Find myself alone, then I completely switch to my first finger C. Genuine, lovely, sh there's my G. C. Then in darkness with the radio playing low. The secrets that we shared. B. The mountains that we moved. Caught like a wildfire control. Till there was nothing left to burn. And nothing left to prove. Okay. We're gonna go E, D, G. And I remember what you said to me. And you swore that it would never end. Remember how she held me, see, oh so tight. I wish I didn't know now what I did, didn't know then. Against the wind. Running against the wind. And at this point, I decide to do octaves as opposed to chords. I take these two octaves and go running, running, running against the wind. You can do them this way. So I like to come down with my pick and up. But either way, an extra credit if you could mute the D string while you do this. So it's a, so you only hear two notes instead of, instead of that, that D in the middle, it doesn't work. So what I'm doing is, is I'm taking this finger and laying it down, just touching that string there. So that's like extra credit. And that way you can learn to do octaves by strumming. Or. So uh, we'll do the, we'll do the next, uh, next uh, verse here. Years roll slowly past, going to be by myself alone. See, surrounded by strangers I thought were my friends. Found myself further and further from my home. I guess I lost my way. Oh, so many roads. I was living to run, I was running to live. Child. Now we're going to go to E, D, G. Moving eight miles a minute for months at a time. Breaking all the rules that would bend. I began to find myself go to C, searching. Searching for shelter. D again and again. Against the wind. I'm running against the wind. I'm still running, running, running against the wind. And that's the whole song. Um, if you feel like doing a solo thing, you can get on this bass note and... play around with this. Um, it's a great song to just kind of fool around with and practice because it's fairly easy and you should probably know it anyway. Um, I just remember hearing it on AM radio and you know when I was 13 or 14, 15 years old probably. So um, anyway it's a really fine song. Against the Wind, um, G, B, C, D, 
It's got an E minor D, G. A typical progression for a classic rock song. And like I said, if you like to do it without effects, you know, you can certainly do that. Let me turn off my drives here. And, uh... I'm still running, I'm still running, I'm still running against the wind. You can certainly do it that way. It's, it lends itself to uh, campfires as well as a uh, classic rock hard-hitting song. So uh, we'll see you. This is Uncle Mark in the Mothership. Thank you so much for uh, everything you do for me. I do have a donate link down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. And uh, thank you, thank you for all your donations. Appreciate it. Sharing, uh, getting the word out in social media. It's really important. And, uh, you know, I've got a lot of lessons up. So dig into these things, you know. Um, and you're going to start finding commonality between songs. So I hope you discover that, and then you can you can chart your own you can chart your own uh, songs. So uh, thank you so much, and we'll see you.